Ball tonight. Cheval is out with concussion. So she should, it just probably will take a couple days. It's nothing severe, but it's just one of those things where you have a headache and lights. I don't want her um, hearing that drum. So, yeah. Dominique so nothing's nothing's broken. I'm um, just both sprains. So the good thing is we have a long week. So I'm hoping, optimistic that they can play on Friday, but probably more limited minutes because I'm looking at the big picture a few weeks from now. And then um, Cheval just butted heads with Shayna in practice and hit her jaw. So just tender and hard to eat because it's your jaw and just light sensitivity. So we sent her home to rest. Kate really stepped up tonight. Um, a little bit before, you know, Dominique went out, but then it was, she, she, you know, she had that will to do it. Um, what can you say about her point? Well, I was just happy because Kate Reese um, had some great left-handed moves. You saw her celebrating. We work on that every single day. Um, you know, I thought, I think Kate's playing so strong. She's been extremely efficient. I challenged the team today to get to the free throw line. So Kate had eight free throws. It's like what Kate's so competitive, whatever you ask of her, she's going to go do. Um, she reminds me a lot of just me when I was a player. If Joan would have said, you know, go tackle Kim or go run through that wall, I'd been like, okay. That's kind of how Kate is. And I love to coach players like that. Um, and she's just finishing better. And even though everybody knows she's going to go right, even everybody in the gym, they can't, still can't stop her right. So the next level for Kate is being able to go both ways, and I think she's going to be unstoppable on the post. Kind of has been accumulating over the last few games, but your assist to turnover ratio is just getting better and better game by game. What do you kind of attribute that to, and how would you say the chemistry of the team is growing? Well, so that's one of the, one of the things that we stat every day and we value. Um, I think just as a professional player, the point guards I played with, that was the first stat they always looked at. So that's very important to us. Um, you know, nationally, to the best teams in the country are high. Like number, Oregon's probably number one, or Stanford's in the top five, I'm sure, in assist to turnover ratio. So that's something we want. You know, in the misleading thing today, I don't, I don't know if Aries ever only had like one assist in the game, which is pretty shocking. Maybe because that was against the zone, which is weird. So I would even want that assist to be higher today. Um, but that's just something we value. Um, we run good offense. We make extra passes. It wasn't that evident tonight against the zone. I felt like a lot of our, um, our action stayed on one side, which I don't like. But at the times that it moved, we got great shots. And you saw more of that in the second half when Pueyo and Thomas had shots in the corner. But that's the kind of ball movement we have to, um, to me, a, a, a good shot is a uncontested shot. So ideally, in a perfect world for me, I don't want any contested shots. So I want to always move the ball for uncontested shots. So you'll see us grow in that area for sure. Speaking of the zone, how do you think you guys played against that tonight? I thought first quarter awful. I didn't think we played well against it at all. I think that we didn't make shots. We didn't move the ball. We were very stagnant, um, holding the ball a long time. Um, but then I thought second quarter and third and fourth, I thought we were better against the zone because they played the zone for 40 minutes. Your rotations today really seem to, to work really well, especially on defense. There didn't seem, you know, the, it's, the levels seem to sort of stay for you guys. I know you talk about yeah, sometimes it goes down and up and down with subs, but it didn't. Was there, was, are you guys, are they getting better at understanding what you want from I, I feel like they are. I mean, they, you know, like Tara and Mara and um, some of the younger players, Berna, they do make freshman mistakes. Um, I thought things that were glaring in the first quarter were, you know, not following shooters and then getting paying for it with a three. Um, offensive rebounds, you know, first half, Middleton 22 killed us. She had four offensive rebounds. So those are the things that I don't like, because our posts, they don't seem to like to box out. They just like to stand with their arms up like that, so we got to work on that. But um, it's getting better. It is, I, th I think the improvement you're seeing is that we, when we go into our subs, we aren't dipping and giving up like a 10-0 run. So that's what you want. Um, you want solid performances from the bench. And I think someone who's been consistently doing that is Helena Pueyo. But... Um, Besides her, Mara, Tara, even Cheval, she's not here tonight. Even Berna did some really good things. So I like the fact that we can go into our bench. I like the fact that we have depth. Uh, last year, if Dominique would have went out, it would have been devastating for us. Um, and it still is because Dominique's so valuable. But at least we have Sam that can play multiple positions. We have Samaje with a little bit more experience. So um, it's going to be better. But you don't realize how much you miss Dominique till she's not on the floor. She does so many things that don't show up in the stat sheet. You know, she um, is like the point guard from the post position. So, you know, if missing her, is, it's, it's really it's a problem for us. So, 
speaking of the point guard, did you rotate them because of the injury or just to gain experience with the other kids? Both. It's the same. It's kind of the same rotation I've been doing. So, um, you know, Lucia, I already know what Lucia can do. She's experienced. She's our, one of our true only true point guards. Um, but Amari can play some one. She, Amari didn't really play a lot of one tonight just because I didn't play her a ton of minutes. But um, Bryce is rotating to the one a little bit more than Mara right now because Bryce, you know, I'm trying to get Bryce experience at the one. I think it, it can help her earn more minutes. Is this Samaji's best game at Arizona so far? That's a good question. I feel like she's probably points, points wise, I, I believe it is. Yeah, career high. What was it before? I think nine. Okay, I thought it was 12. But yeah, so career high. Um, I, I feel like other games she's been. I feel like she's performed like that in the WNIT a couple of times, but I think tonight it was her best game overall with finishing and rebounding. Um, I thought Samaje played a really good game, and I felt like her teammates found her. And I liked the way she stuck with it. So she had a couple missed easy buckets in the first half, and then she came back and she converted on those. But, I mean, 15.6 rebounds in 18 minutes is extremely efficient. That's what I expect from Samaje every game, though. That's what she's capable of doing. Okay, thanks. Yeah, thanks. thanks. So, uh, a career high, Samaje. Um, yeah. What was working for you? Um, my teammates trusting me, feeding me the ball after, even after I missed some chippies. Um, what else? The confidence that they gave me. you describe the first eight games of the year? So it was amazing for me. It's my first day, like the player of the game. And I like the play. My teammates helped me a lot with all the plays. And that's good. I like <laughs> Defense, uh, second. I mean, your defense is good, but the second straight game that you've really held the other team down, and, and it really in the second quarter you came alive. It seemed. So, Maju, what do you think kind of attributed to that? Um. <laughs> um. During practice, we do what we call salvos drill, and that's the. You know, going up to if they're going to shoot in our sidestep. So I feel like that really helped <laughs> a lot. It seemed like everybody picked up their intensity. Mm -hmm. um, did, was there something, did you say something in the, at the break, in the huddle or anything to, to sort of, because you started out a little slow mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden it clicked? Um, during halftime, we said that we were going to hold them to 30 points instead of 40. So I feel like that picked up our intensity a lot. After the first quarter tonight, what kind of clicked? What changed? <clears throat> so it's gonna say it's gonna be um after the f the one half the de después de la media parte. You said that uh, after halftime. Sí, no. Uh -huh. Eso. Um, no sé. Había nos ha, nos ha dicho más cosas y entonces pues hemos quedado de nuevo. Yeah, she said that at halftime we had this talk with Adia and uh, she was like you need to hold the team to 30 points and that helped us a lot in like the second half. When uh, Dominique went down. Um, I know that's got to be tough for you because she does so much for the team. How did you guys sort of rally? Was there something? Did you guys just really took it over? So what do you think, Samaje? Um, and and um, <coughs> what happened at that point? Well, we know we had to play for her because she is like one of like our good players that we need. So we know we have to pick up our intensity and play better and play for her. Yeah, I think same. I think Dominique is uh, important. Um, this like uh, important player in the game, and when Dominique falls down, like I think I feel like not bad, but we need to step up. step up. Yeah, to play more hard. And was it hard for 
where you guys, I mean, you know, first Myron goes down, and then, and so it was like sort of back to back. Was it hard for you guys? I know you have to play a game, but there are two, two of your teammates going down like that. Um, no, it wasn't, because I know, like, she's going to be better, they're going to be better, they're going to get better, so not to dwell on it, because we'll get distracted. Anything else? All right, thank you, guys. Thanks.